guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to my Porsche 718. Now in this video, I'm gonna explain why I chose this car and what it's like going from a John Cooper Works to a Porsche. So let's just jump in and I'll explain why. Guys, welcome inside the Porsche. And why did I buy a 718 Cayman? There are so many different sports cars out there. Um, just for a quick one, Audi TT RS, awesome car. Two and a half litre, five cylinder, 400 brake horsepower. It's just a mental car. There is Jaguar F-Type, there's Alpine A110. There's so many cars. And so what drove me to buy one of these? Uh, and yeah, why? So. It all starts around about two years ago when I went to Goodwood Festival of Speed, which is a big festival in the UK uh, down near the coast, and it's, a, it's just a big car lover's heaven of everything. Old, new, electric, hybrid, petrol, diesel, everything. It's just a, a plethora of amazing cars. So I head down there uh, and I see a Singer uh, Porsche. Now, Singer are just a company that have taken the classic Porsches. I'm not sure when they range from, maybe you know, late 60s or, seven, or early 70s, all the way kind of up. And they take those classic cars and they basically reimagine them, keeping the classic design, but installing with them just an amazing level of craftsmanship that you just don't see on a lot of new cars. So basically, hey, have a little look, have a little Google, have a little Google at Singer, they're, they're just amazing. But So I saw one of those and I was instantly like, wow, that is just amazing. It just, everything about it, the sound, the, the, just the sound, the look, the, everything was brilliant. So I thought, well, I would love one of those, but they are about 400,000 pounds. So I can't afford those, but, you know, push. You know, I've never really thought about it before. And I used to work for Audi for a little while, for kind of three or four years. So I kind of knew what Audi's game were, and I kind of loved the Audi TT RS, especially the engine. So I was like, well, yeah, I could have a look at a Porsche, but it's new. So a little while after, a friend of mine bought a 911, 911.2 GTS, Miami Blue, black wheels. It was just awesome. It was so, so cool. And I actually fell in love with Miami Blue. And from there, I thought, well, is it possible to get myself in a, a Porsche? You know, is, is it worth it? You know, I'll have a little look and see. And actually, fast forward a little bit more, I met someone through work that had worked at Porsche and moved back to Porsche. And I kind of thought, well, actually, if I'm going to go to anyone, you know, I'll go to him because, you know, he's a friend and he'll be able to, to, help, to help me out with it. So fast forward a little bit further and, and I started going shopping and I looked at all. Oh, Just so fun. Um, so yeah, I went shopping. Uh, I was looking at uh, Jaguars. Uh, I didn't actually look at the Alpine, only because I wasn't just sure on the, the styling. Just wasn't quite for me. But, but you know, that's just just how I like it. You know, everyone's different, and I didn't quite like that one. Um, but I got uh, quite a few. Look at quite a few of them. Looked at NLD. Uh, woo, bit of water. Uh, and so yeah, it kind of it kind of came down to the Jaguar and the Porsche. And I drove the Porsche, drove a Porsche came in, uh, no, it was M1A came in T, uh, and yeah, it was just, it sounded grumbly and Porsche-like. It, was, it wasn't it was actually as perfect and tuneful as I thought it would be. It's actually, it was quite, just, it, I don't know, it's made a lot of noise. Obviously, it's, it's not quite as good a sounding as, uh, for example, the Audi TTS or, or the Jag, which was the V6. So it wasn't quite as nice sounding as those cars, but it just sounded, you know, actually more impressive than I thought. But Realistically, I wanted it daily. I wanted to do 10, 12,000 miles a year in a comfy two-seater sports car. The Jag felt a bit heavy, the Porsche felt light. And actually, popping to the shops, you know, going to work every day, I wanted something that just felt easy to drive. And actually, for some reason, the Porsche felt easier to drive than the Jag, uh, which happens. And you know, I'm very thankful that I managed to get into, you know, into a uh, into a test drive with with them both and have a little look. And I was really, really happy. So, from that perspective. Definitely on, on the just of the face of it, the cars just felt so different. So inside, tech is a big thing for me. I love tech, and in the Porsche, it felt very modern. It felt like a modern Porsche did. It had CarPlay, it had bits and bobs, touch screens, and things like that. My my Mini actually didn't have CarPlay or touch screen, so that was quite a nice little bonus. Now in the Jag, I think the new one do have CarPlay, and I think it is touch screen, but. 
inside it hadn't been updated since what 2013 when it first came out and although yes we can't un we can't deny the outside of the car looked brilliant on the jack inside for me was just a little bit dated i really liked the way that actually a curve on the dashboard made you feel like you were like kind of in your little cockpit like a fighter jet and then the passenger was you know on their own little side um in the jack although i like that it just felt dated and i knew there was a new one coming out and Having known that, I thought, well, actually, I don't want to jump in one of these, well, one of the Jags at the time, and then realise that actually a month later, someone else has got uh, the brand new one, and it just looks amazing. So I kind of wanted to be with a company that actually the car hasn't, you know, isn't about to be updated. Now, they have just released the Porsche 718 Cayman GTS as a six cylinder four litre. Now, I'm actually not too fussed about that. You know, so many people have said, I imagine if you just bought a Porsche 718. Uh, as a four litre, how gutted would you feel? And actually, I don't really care because I didn't want a GTS. A, because the GTS is what? 70, 80 grand, whatever it is, when you get a nice spec on it. This was a lot, lot less than that, and I can't afford 70, 80 grand. Otherwise, I would have just gone and bought an Audi R8 V10 Plus. So, yeah, for me, you know, not, not fast, but a lot of people have been going on the internet and saying, could you imagine if you just bought one of these? And you know what, you know, I, I, I understand it because years ago it, was, uh, it wasn't turbocharged, it was big engines, it went to the turbochargers and a lot of people said, no, I hate it, it's not the right engine for a Porsche and it doesn't sound as good uh, and a lot of people just didn't want one. So, you know, on that part of you, I don't really care, but I knew that actually there wasn't a new 718 just around the corner. So for that, I was pretty safe. Oh, hang on two seconds. I'm in sport. Hang on. Ready? <laughs> oh my God, this car is ridiculous. Sorry. Now, one thing that... Uh, I really wanted from a sports car was usability because it was going to be my daily driver I wanted it to be awesome at everyday stuff like coming to Sainsbury's car park now this car has two boots it has a front boot and a back boot uh, I'm not ever going to call it a frunk because that's just ridiculous uh, but it does have a front boot and a back boot so uh, that's pretty cool hello darling hmm, I think she likes it yeah but it's not hard at all to use for my everyday. Now the Jag didn't feel like that. The Jag did feel a little bit like, oh, ooh, don't want to touch anything. So yeah, from that perspective, it was uh, quite simple. <laughs> is what's it like going from a John Cooper works, a hot hatch, to a Porsche 718 Cayman, a sports car? Well, actually, really rather simple. Fine, to be honest. I mean, you know, after you get used to the kind of size of the car, the kind of where your blind spots are, uh, and kind of how it drives, then actually, it's, it's totally different. Parking-wise, you know, the doors are long, and it does, it does take a bit of a struggle getting into it when you're in a, when you're next to a car and that's really only because getting into it the seats are quite low there's quite a quite a low car and so you've got to kind of sit in so you've got to get your legs over and swing in but apart from that everything else you know the boots are great really really usable actually having one at the front i always reverse into my spaces so having a boot at the front is so much more convenient so i just pop it open grab it and run so from that aspect it's been really simple now I'm not going to lie and say it wasn't nerve-wracking going from a John Cooper Works to a Porsche because it is nerve-wracking. It's an expensive car, you've got to be so careful, you don't know who you're going to park next to and who they, what they're going to do to your car. So it is really nerve-wracking. So if you're going to be doing a transition similarly, you know, going from a, a smaller car to maybe a more expensive car or a sports car, yeah, I'm not going to lie, it's, it is nerve-wracking, but the more you get used to it, you know, the more you drive it, the more you park in places, the, the easier it gets, and obviously the more relaxed you are going to be. You know, this is not a supercar, it's not two, three hundred thousand pounds worth, but, you know, it's a lot of money to me, and it's my pride and joy, you know, it's, it's something that I love, and I always will love, and so I'm always going to be a little bit nervous when I get a new car, but, yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to lie and say I wasn't nervous changing from a, a John Cooper works to a, to a Porsche.
Right, quick stop. I've just got to jump into Paul Swindon where I picked up the car uh, because on the day I forgot my key. I was so excited I totally forgot about it. So I'm just going to pop in uh, and grab it. Alrighty, here we are. Oh, it's so cool in here. So this is actually a Diglo. It's, it's got Ferrari and it's got Porsche as well. Let's just... Right, I have got my key, there it is. It's actually basically the same as the other one, but I've got a little red thing on it, which is cool. So I've got the spare key. So let's crack on and I'll uh, head back home. So guys, that has been why I chose this Porsche 718 Cayman. And also, So guys, that has been why I've chosen this Porsche 718 Cayman and also what it's like going from a John Cooper Works to a Porsche. Now, if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Make sure to comment why you think of the Porsche, whether you'd actually gone from the Jag or the Alpine or whatever. And also, if you've got a, a Mini and you're looking to change to a Porsche, or actually, if you're going from any hot hatch to a sports car, you know, comment below, ask any questions you like, you know, happy to answer anything. Um, also, please, guys, please, please, please subscribe to the channel. It'd be amazing if you can. Um, but I hope you enjoyed the video. But for now, I will see you very, very soon.